bro, Avengers Secret Wars is going to be a showdown between two different universes in the MCU, the 616 and the 838. But which one will come out on top? What's up, y'all? It's Kendall with Normie Sinners. Thanks for stopping by. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel because we're on the grind to our first 1,000 subs. Let's get it. Because we are definitely heading down a road where the universes 838 and 616 are going to battle head to head for the fate of the entire multiverse. Like, after they were introduced in Multiverse of Madness, I think that we will be getting to know a lot about the 838 by way of Disney Plus animated shows and possibly even a Phase 6 film. And ultimately, I believe that the 838 universe will serve as the ultimate universe in the MCU. In Jonathan Hickman's Secret Wars run, which I'm currently reading by the way, it starts out in the Ultimates universe where you have a cabal that's headed up by villains from the 616 and also a Reed Richards variant known as the Maker. That universe, which is 1610 in Marvel Comics and Marvel Comics 616, were the last two Earths left in the multiverse. And I can see the MCU adapting that into their story here, having the Illuminati serve somewhat as that cabal that we saw in the comics. But wait, the Illuminati is dead, right? Not for long. Yeah, they got effed up in Multiverse of Madness, but I have a feeling that by the way the Illuminati seemed to have things figured out, that they also had a failsafe that would be able to bring them back to life, more than likely using the Time Stone that was never destroyed by Thanos in their universe. And some may say just because they're coming back doesn't mean they're evil, but I beg to effing differ. Like, after getting decimated by Wanda, I have a feeling that they'll be more hell-bent on being the strongest universe in the multiverse. Look, they've already been out there classifying universes throughout the multiverse, meaning that they have had run-ins with other ones. And by run-ins, I'm referring to Reed Richards in Multiverse of Madness saying that incursions either destroy both or one universe. And to explain that, first let's start by looking at the comics, where there was only one way for one universe to survive an incursion, and that was by destroying the other universe's Earth. I think here Reed is hinting that they have destroyed a few universes already during incursions, defeating heroes from other timelines to keep their universe alive. And that could explain why they were so damn confident before Wanda came and clapped them up real easy. And now, like, if we're going to be getting that showdown between 838 and 616, don't you think we need to build up the 838 just a little bit? The 838 seems to have a lot of fan service characters, right? Like, from Patrick Stewart's Professor X to John K's Reed Richards. And I love for the X-Men that we all know to come and love to be set in that universe. Not the exact versions, but variants of those versions that we've seen in pre previous franchises. Because I see Secret Wars as being a cameo heavy event, much like No Way Home was, that brings the franchises together. I mean, a lot of people feel that as well. I mean, we already saw Patrick Stewart as Professor X, and with the way the contracts are being set up reportedly, for X-Men actors and mutants, I think it's a clever way to bring mutants and nostalgia into a battle to save the multiverse. I mean, think about it, bruh. Hugh Jackman coming in as Wolverine, Halle Berry coming back as Storm, all of those cast members coming back to square off against the all-star team of our MCU 616 heroes. But the buildup doesn't stop there, right? Like all signs are pointing towards my theory being true, that the 838 is being set up to be the ultimate universe for Secret Wars, right? Like we just got confirmation that Spider-Man freshman year will be set in a different universe. And there's an obvious connection that we've gotten from Professor X and Multiverse of Madness using the X-Men theme song, meaning that I believe both of those shows will be set in the 838 so we can get a better understanding of what's happening in that universe. But that's not all. I think we can get an entire movie set in the 838 in phase six titled the Illuminati. I mean, that project would explain their return and their studying of incursions from their end of the multiverse. And that way we can see maybe three projects based in that universe before the showdown happens in Secret Wars. And if they're going this route, an Illuminati movie would probably be needed to tie in all of the animated and live action 838 stories together for people who might not have watched the animated series. But despite all of this, the real question is here, right? Who will win? The 838? or the 616. Look, drop a sub to the channel, and let's get into some theory. While the 838 seems to be effing stacked, bro, like with X-Men and the Fantastic Four, and more than likely more than one Spider-Man, I don't think that they will be the ones to get the W, and I have two reasons why. The first being the 616 timeline is simply stronger than all others. Thinking about what Electro said when he arrived to our Earth in No Way Home, 
He said his powers feel stronger and all that, right? And then going to Multiverse of Madness, there was a hint that we saw from the first Doctor Strange in that film that their cosmic energy in whatever universe he was in is different, bro. And I'm just basing that on the fact that you can see the color of his magic was white while Strange's magic is orange. Like all sorcerers pull cosmic energy from their universe and we learned in No Way Home that the Sanctum Centaurums are built on energy currents that are flowing throughout the universe. That being said, with the 616 being the main timeline and the other universes being branches, a majority of that energy should still be flowing through the main timeline more than others, which is likely giving all beings in the 616 universe more cosmic energy than what we see from their variants in other universes. And my second reason why the 616 would get the dub is because I believe that they're going to try to pull heroes from other universes to stack up the team and fight the 838. Here's what I mean by this. Like the 838 has all of the heroes from past franchises like the X-Men, Fantastic Four, and so on, as well as multiversal versions of our own Avengers. Bruh, like I said, they are stacked. At the same time, they've also been destroying universes to save themselves from dying in incursions. While their focus is saving their 838 timeline, I can see the 616 being focused on figuring out a way to save the entire multiverse. And in doing so, when it's time to battle, I can see the 616 timing up with some of our favorite OG Avengers like RDJ's Tony Stark and the young Steve Rogers from different universes, creating an all-star, all-time MCU team to go up against a all-time Marvel franchise movie team as well. And that, my folks, is the multiversal war that He Who Remains was talking about in Loki. Because bringing in all of these heroes will likely bring incursions to the point where the entire multiverse is literally about to explode. But here's where we separate from the dog. As the multiverse is about to explode, I can see Kang likely believing that his fail safe to have he who remains in place at the end of all this is about to happen again. Until one thing throws everything off the script. That is, you guessed it, 838 Dr. Doom stepping in and effing up his plans and takes control of constructing a new timeline with the help of Wanda Maximoff's Scarlet Witch. And with Wanda at the helm with Dr. Doom of constructing this new timeline, I can see her doing things that erase the work of Kang that would allow mutants to be in our universe, that would allow the Fantastic Four to be in our universe. All that type of stuff that Kang has tried to prevent from happening, the Scarlet Witch will allow to happen. And I think that would be a dope way to bring the multiversal saga to a close as all of this stuff will be condensed into one universe once again. But let me know what you think in the comment section below about all of this, everything I had to say. Who do you think will win in a one-on-one -on -one showdown, the 838 or 616? I want to know your thoughts, and I will see you in the next video.